Welcome into today's video, Z1620 here, and in today's video I'm very excited to be able to bring you my in-depth guide on how to get all the parts to get the Dark Ether portal open inside of your game for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. We're going to be going over exactly all the steps you need to do, we're going to go over the parts that you need to get, and how to upgrade those parts so that you can open up the portal. Now with that being said, I hope you guys are ready to jump into this video and unlock the Dark Ether portal in your game in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Now before we dive into that video, I do want to say thank you so much for all the crazy support we have crossed the 1200 subscriber mark on the channel with over 100 subscribers in the last two weeks so unbelievable support thank you all for that i truly 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 do appreciate that having said that if you haven't subscribed and you're new to the channel make sure you tap the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any further uploads from me on modern warfare 3 zombies now, with that being said, we are also live daily over on the Kick channel. Link down in the description for that. So go give us a follow on the Kick and join in all the fun. Hope you guys see you in the next video. And without further ado, let's roll the intro. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to need to do in order to be able to open up the Dark Ether portal is we have to do Act 4 Story Mission. So before you start your game, make sure you go into Act 4 and equip it. It is available for everybody regardless of what act you're on. Once you've done that, you want to come to this location on the map and teleport into the Dark Ether. I highly recommend you get pack-a-punched, geared up, and ready for this. It is a two, two tier 2 area, although the spawns feel like tier 3 high threat level with a ton of elites now when you get into the dark ether you're going to have four objectives to complete you're going to need to fill souls at each of the four locations they are marked on the map as you can see with the yellow markers so you know which ones to go to you're simply going to go to the location you're going to turn on the portal or whatever it is and fill it with souls until it is complete and then it's gonna give you um, a part that's gonna fly up into the sky, you won't be able to grab it. So you get a dog collar, you'll get a pill bottle, you'll get a CTV camera, and you'll get a diary out of uh, what appear on the altars after you've filled them with souls. So you wanna go ahead and get to all four of the locations in the dark ether, you know, use your tacticals, um, be smart, be careful, make sure you're staying alive, keep moving. Uh, definitely decoys are good. If you uh, bring those in, you can help keep uh, you know yourself free few seconds to, to breathe while you're in here um, so what you want to do as you can see my team here I've got two teammates were there at the one um, seal the ether seal and they're filling it with souls right now I was unable to get in just from the sheer number of zombies so I just ran away um, but this is definitely something that you guys can be looking for when you're going into the dark either just pay attention be careful make sure you guys are running healing aura so you can get each other up the downs are going to happen so just be prepared for that and you should be fine all right so you can see in this clip here what the seals look like they're just a concrete pillar it says activate seal so you'd push action on it when you walk up to it and it'll uh, activate the seal for you now while you're killing around the seal this one is uh the fire element you can see the ring of, of fire and flames that are around the seal so that is going to mark where you need to kill the zombies inside. So inside that ring of fire is where their souls are going to count to fill up the seal. So when you're doing each one of these seals, make sure that you're killing the zombies inside of the ring that spawns in which with, with, with whichever element you are working on. Well, that seems to be a tongue twister there. So as you can see, you fill it up with souls and then it'll be finished and that one will be done. So at the end of it, you can see you get your dog collar here that spawns in and it shoots up into the sky. And that's what each one of these ether rifts are, uh, or each ether portals, sorry, are doing for you. They're getting the four parts from the lady. So you walk up to your seal, you hold action like I just did to interact and turn on the seal. Now you can see on this one, it is the frost blast. So you can see the icy ring, the smoke around the edge, and that's where you've got to fill up your zombies. They've got to come inside that ring for their souls to count. So just make sure you're keeping an eye out for the ring so you know where to get your zombie kills from and then just continue to kill zombies to fill up your ether seal. So once you're done filling up your ether seal, the ether seal will stop getting filled with souls and you'll get a part that'll pop up out of the ether seal. So in this one here, it is the diary we've got, the icy diary. So that one spawns up from here. And again, you just wanna keep going on. This is gonna be the last one. It's uh, down on the bottom of the map. This one is gonna bring you a ton of disciples. 
And again, you can see the ring of electricity around the, the edge where you need to be filling up the souls and killing zombies inside that ring. So you can see the electrical ring that spawns around the seal. Like I said, on the other ones, you wanna make sure you're killing zombies within that elemental ring and their souls will count. So just continue doing this until you have filled up the ether uh, seal. So now that your ether seal is going to be filled up, the last one here is going to give you the CTV camera, as you can see on screen. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up, and then you want to make your way to the final objective marker, which says escape. But before you get there, surprise, it's going to pop up and turn into the boss fight that you have to deal with. And this boss is quite strong. He's a lot stronger than the tier three um, act mission boss fight. So be prepared. He can eat you. He can insta down you with his laser. He has a slam attack. Use your teammates. Make sure you guys work together and you want to defeat this boss at the end of your dark ether run. And this is going to give you your last one. You're, you've had the seals, which has given you a bunch. The gourmet was going to give you another one that you really, really need. So just make sure you're paying attention. Run around. Keep moving. Shoot the uh, the marked spots on uh, the gourmet worm or whatever his name is and that'll do extra damage for him help to get his damage down so just make sure you guys are working together communicate healing aura really helps out here so does your tacticals uh, you know monkey bombs decoys stuff like that to really help keep the zombies off of you so you can fire your damage at the worm so now that you've got your gorm gert or however you say his name the ether worm killed that is going to be it for your story mission as far as the travels through the dark ether for things that you need to progress so you've defeated him that is all you need to move on to get your dark ether on the map the portal open this is what it drops you the worm this is one of the things that you need the other three items that we need we're going to obtain inside of the map yurgistan so once you finished uh, your boss fight, you want to make sure you, uh, of course, head out and the worm will spawn in your exfil right there. So there's the portal for you guys to get out. That is the final exfil. So by going through there, you guys will get the successful exfil on screen and you will keep all of your loot. All right. So the next thing we're going to need to obtain is three items, a pill bottle, a CTV camera and a dog collar. In order to get the pill pal, pill bottle, sorry, add brain rot to your gun, come to an ether nest. It has to be an ether nest. Don't go to an infected stronghold. Tap one bullet into a spore, then go back up to that spore and you'll be able to interact with that spore. Inside the spore is where you're going to pick up your pill bottle. Unfortunately, my footage of getting that, I don't know where it went. It either got corrupted or I just couldn't find it. So unfortunately, I'm unable to show you guys how to do that, but that is it. Come to an ether nest put on brain rot, one shot, uh, one bullet into a spore, hold interact on that spore, the pill bottle will be inside. That's how you do the next step. All right, so the next one, you're gonna need dead wire and you're gonna be looking for one of these harvester orbs. When you shoot it with dead wire equipped, it will turn yellow. Again, my footage, I've already completed this by the time I recorded it for you guys, so it does not turn yellow for me. So your first shot with dead wire on the harvester orb is gonna turn it yellow. All you wanna do after that is simply run around and shoot the harvester orb and destroy it. That is what we're looking for is to try and destroy the harvester orb. You gotta have dead wire on it to turn it yellow. So on your run, if you're going in to get these, make sure you bring in brain rot, make sure you bring in uh, dead wire so you can do these two nice and quick. You're gonna wanna fire around and shoot the orb until it's done. And once it's destroyed in its loot, um, you will see your CTV camera. Again, it's not here in my footage because I've already finished it. If you have completed this, you cannot go get the parts again. So your CCTV camera would be in here inside of the loot. All right, so the last one is gonna be the dog collar. In order to do that, you need to find yourself a dog house. You need to have a Molotov and one piece of meat. You put the Molotov and the meat inside the dog house, back away, and a dog is gonna spawn. Kill the dog, and in the dog's loot on the ground, you will find your dog collar. Again, it's not here in my footage because once you've completed it, you are unable to do it a second time. All right, so now that we have our three items, the pill bottle, the dog collar, and the CTV camera, we we need to upgrade them to legendary. In order to do that, you have to find one of these dark ether portals in the map, jump through it and immediately activate your parachute. Once you've done that, you're gonna look around and try and find one of another colored portals for you to go through. So you wanna find one, I found here the green one. Now, when you go through these portals, they are gonna spawn in a contract. So you can see here on screen, there's the contract out of the portal. You can see what kind it is. It's a bounty contract. 
So all you simply want to do is now that you've gone through the portal and it's spawned in your contract to upgrade your items, you want to go and grab your contract. That's all you need to do. So I'm going to run around here. We're going to grab our contract and you'll also notice it looks a little different than the other contracts. It's got some color around it. So there's the yellow one. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. This will also spawn in your bounty along with two other ones that are not um, part of your bounty. So you'll get three elites, sometimes four. Um, when doing this. So all you're gonna do is head over to your elite and you're gonna wanna kill it. So as you can see here, there the elite that I needed to kill was a mimic, but you can also see that there is two other mimics that spawn in when you do these contracts. So as I can show you on screen, I've killed the bounty that was the mimic that spawned in from the red portal. And if we open it up, we're gonna see our epic pill bottle or legendary pill bottle in there. So this is the, you know process you want to repeat on all three of the items find yourself a dark ether rift jump through the portal look around with your parachute in the sky for a colored rift and then fly through that be aware you're going to get three contracts doing this three different items one will be in tier one one will be in tier two and one's going to be in tier three from what I can tell, the red rift is what takes you to tier three. They're color coordinated to the uh, threat level areas on the map. So this one here you can see spawns in and it is a tier three contract. So you gotta go ahead and complete that in order to get the legendary upgrade for the part. So we picked up the contract. I started it, it spawned in a mangler for me which brought in a bunch of other manglers in tier three i got really lucky on this run solo at that it spawned in with a bunch of other teammate teams that were doing another contract and they basically killed my mangler for me so there's my epic dog collar and i'm just going to take that and skadoodle out of here now you want to rinse and repeat that for all three parts so for the ccv camera what i don't have on screen just go through another portal can kill the boss you'll get the ctv camera now that you have all four items and at Legendary, you want to come to the island here in uh, Tier 3 that has the A symbol on it. It's easy to spot on the map, so you guys will know. And you'll see these pedestals here on the island. Now, these correspond to certain items in your backpack. So each of the items that we have picked up and upgraded go into a certain area. So the pill bottles go on the brain rot symbol. The dog collar is the fire symbol. The diary is going to be the cryo freeze symbol and your camera is going to be the electric symbol. So what you do is you're going to go ahead and place all of these down on each of their corresponding pedestals and then you want to get ready to fight a mega abomination. Now the mega abomination is going to spawn in as soon as you place down your fourth item on the pedestal. So if you want to get prepared for your mega abomination before you place your last item, I would suggest dropping down your sentry turrets, score streaks, maybe calling in your juggernaut if that's what you're going to use to try and fight the mega abomination. That would be the greatest tip. As you can see on screen here, I had two sentry guns and uh, my teammate had the cluster mine. So we dropped the cluster mines basically where we should try to guess where the portal would show up. And then I went ahead and set up sentry turrets on either side of the portal to hopefully put in some fire towards the Megan Abomination when we spawn him in. Uh, so all you want to do is just get set up, get ready. It's tier three. It's on a little tiny island with an abomination. So keep moving. Use your, uh, you know, tacticals to help out. But here we go. We put the last one on and you can see what happens. It spawns in the huge portal. Bunch of cool effects, bunch of cool, awesome sounds spawn in. Looks really cool. I think this is just visually awesome. One of the coolest things to see. I mean, that portal is absolutely massive and that looks so cool. So now you can see your dark ether portal is there and available to use. Uh, the side on facing us is gonna be for your sigils and then the back side is gonna be for your elder sigils that'll take you into the hardcore dark ether. So this portal is what is going to be permanently unlocked by doing this and you just need to get sigils and elder sigils from tier three contracts in order to be able to go into the dark ether and look for the schematics and such that are in there. Hopefully this guide helps you guys out. I know it took a while to get it out for myself. Uh, my apologies for that, but this is how you go ahead and open up the dark ether portal permanently in your game in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. If this guide helped in any way, make sure you smash the like comments, hit the subscribe for more comments or guides and tips for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies to come. Hope you guys see you in the next one.